Bedford Chase was um, rated outstanding in 2018, um, which has recognised the high standards of care that we offer to our residents. So it's obviously been really important that we've kept our residents as occupied um, and for their lives to have been as full as possible during this time. We've all recognised the difficulties and the challenges that they've faced when they have been separated from their loved ones. Obviously we haven't been able to have visitors in since lockdown. So up until now we've done amazingly well um, using social distancing and following the Public Health England advice and now we find ourselves at the point where we can take the next step and offer safe visiting for our residents. It's really good, um, except I wish I could have hugged her. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but no, it's, um, it's, it's really a big help to be able to talk to her like that. So much close, I know it's still apart, but much closer, yeah. It's been a real morale, morale boost because um, it makes me feel a lot more optimistic that I'll, I may be able to see more of my family uh, over the coming months. I think the team here under you have given, have made such efforts to keep us safe that it just has to go on until court and care and everyone here feels it's safe to open it up further. It was great seeing my mum. It's been wonderful being able to talk to her on the phone and on the iPad but there's nothing like actually being able to look into her eyes and know that she's telling you the truth instead of kidding you that she's fine. You always worry in the back of your mind that she's not as good as she says she is, but when you're face to face, that connection there, you both know when you're kidding yourself. So she can't get away with anything when we see her on the other side of the screen. And I think Colton Kerr have done an amazing job trying to keep us all informed. We get you know, a newsletter every week telling us what's going on and why things are happening, as well as what is happening. And then we get your newsletter, the Camford Chase newsletter every week to show us what's going on. So at least we get a kind of a bit of an inside view with, through your videos and your photos as to what home looks like. So we've got, still got that connection going on. I think the visit today was brilliant. I absolutely get why the screen is there. I think it was wonderful being able to see her so close and yet know that we were both safe. I was safe and she was safe and neither of us were putting anybody else in, in the house at risk. So I think I, I'm really thrilled that I was able to be here and I'm really happy I saw her. As a team, we're just delighted that we've been able to offer this opportunity for our families and their um, and the residents to reconnect and to spend some time together. It has been a long time for the residents and despite the fact that they've smiled on through and they've been so resilient, nothing beats that actual contact with their family members. Seeing their faces and the smiles and tears to a degree as well has just been absolutely wonderful and very rewarding for the team who have worked so hard to come to this point. We so look forward to being able to offer this to our other residents and their family members and over the coming weeks, possibly into months, we look forward very much to seeing more visiting um, in our homes and seeing more smiles on our residents' faces.